All right, well, it looks like we've got a pretty good crowd coming in. Um, we may have some more join us. Um, but good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wellness with Charismatic Coach Kathy. Um, I've got a few house, housekeeping items that we're going to go over. Um, first off, my name is Charlie Whitten, and I am your Association of Florida Colleges Communication Specialist. So I'm here in Tallahassee, um, and I get to be your session moderator today. Um, thank you for attending. And just as a courtesy to our speaker, please mute yourself and let's hold questions until the end. Um, or you may throw them over in the chat box and I'll kind of keep an eye on that. Um, if you're tweeting during this session or using any social media, we're going to use hashtag AFC 2020 vision. And I've just thrown that over there for you. Um, you want to check out the town hall all throughout the day. That's where you're going to find the updates on sessions, opportunities to win prizes, because that's what annual conference is all about. Um, and you can post your takeaways from sessions um, and just things that you'd like to share with others. Um, the community is where you will locate the contact information for Cassie Turner, our presenter today. Um, you may message her with questions um, and exchange contact information. So at this time, I would like to tell you a little bit about Cassie, um, who is also my neighbor from just across the horse pasture. Um, she's originally from Minnesota, but she now lives in Florida. Um, she's a wife and a stay-at-home mom of two of the cutest little boys. Um, and she runs a full-time business working virtually as a health and fitness coach, helping people individually with weight loss, motivation, confidence, and overall health, which I think we all need in 2020. Um, she's a certified group fitness instructor specializing in multiple different types of classes. Uh, PIO is the most popular format because it's low impact, strength-based stretching that is designed for all levels of fitness. I've attended one of her in-person classes um, and it's really good. She switched her practice to virtual since the pandemic and now is able to teach people from all around the world. She strives to be someone who provides a solution to people struggling to find confidence and be a support for people who keep falling off their health journey. Guilty. I have a company, she has a company that partners, um, that she partners with and has 100% natural health products, which she has found to be the solution for nearly everyone. Whether it's losing 100 plus pounds, gaining more natural energy to keep up with your kids, or simply just learning to love yourself, she would love to help. I'll be throwing her contact um, information in the chat as well as her um, website and her Facebook information. So now please welcome Charismatic Coach Kathy. Hello. Hi everyone, it's so good to be here. Thank you for having me. Let me change, okay. All right, so yeah, thanks for the introduction, Charlie. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I'm excited to teach. I've been teaching online since the pandemic and it's kind of the new new thing we all have to get used to, but there's still little glitches. So um, we will bear with me if there's any sound or if there's a internet delay, um, it should come back quickly. Um, but I appreciate you all being here. And yeah, what she said about coaching, um, I am a health and fitness coach on top of teaching fitness classes. So if you need any help, even if it's just you need to drink more water and you need to get motivated, drink more water during your day, I'd love to help you. Um, you don't have to purchase anything from me. You don't have to take my classes. I just love helping make this world a healthier place. Um, so please reach out to me and share my contact information with anyone you know, um, because the new year is coming and I get really busy when um, January 1st hits, um, but I'd love to meet you and get to know you a little bit now um, to see if I can help you in any way. So if you guys are all ready, should we get started then? Okay. All right. So Pio, um, she told you a little bit about it. Um, I'm gonna walk you through modifications. I'm gonna explain how to do things in an easier way. Don't ever be, um, feel defeated or feel ashamed if you have to do it the modified way. This is an intense class um, and it can, it is for experts, but it's also for beginners. So do the level that feels right for you, feels comfortable for you. Um, and I have some music here. I'll get started and let's see. 
All right. I do all my counting with the music, so if you can't quite hear it, um, that's okay. As long as you can hear me talking. Um, all right. Let's all get up to our mat or wherever if you don't have a mat. Carpet works. Floor works. All right. Can you guys all see me good? We're gonna start with two arm circles back. Big arm circles. And then you're gonna do your two side bends to the same side. And then you're gonna do two circles back. And then the other side. We're gonna keep doing that. Two circles back. Little bend in your legs. Lean and lean. Circle. Circle, lean, and lean. A little bit faster if you want. We're just warming up the body. You go through full body training during this. As long as you're moving. One more, hold that. All right, now we have our next move. We're gonna warm up your legs. You're gonna come to the top of the mat, do a little tiny squat, and then you're gonna step back with your left leg. Little squat, step back with your right. So just a tiny little baby squat at the top, and then you step back as far as you can. I want you to feel this stretch right along the top of your leg. With your arms, you can just kind of do whatever. Stretching out, warming up those legs. Alternating, step back. If you can, you can go a little faster. The goal here is to step back as far as you can. You don't have to get low into your lunge. Just step back. Four more. Last one. All right, next one, we're gonna warm up your core. Palms together, big, make a figure eight with your hands. Like you have markers on your fingertips, draw a big figure eight. The bigger the figure eight, the harder it's gonna be, the more flexible, Your palms are together, straight arms. Four, three, two, one. We have one more little warm up. Feet together. We're gonna fan your arms up. Fold forward, reach for your toes. You're gonna forward fold. So if it, if it looks like this, if this is all the further you can get, that's okay. If you can touch the ground, that's great. You're gonna start pedaling your heels up. So if you're up here, your hands are gonna be on your thighs. And just pedal the heels up. And stretching out the back of the legs. We do lots of hamstring work. Four, three, two. Now you're going to squat down, drop your hands. 
drop your hips as low as you can. If you hit all the way down here, that's great. Heels are pressing to the ground. If you're here, that's okay too. Everyone's flexibility is different. Keep your hands on the ground, straighten your legs. Roll on up. All right, shoulder roll back. Now you're gonna, heel comes up, you're gonna scoop down like you're picking something off the ground. Left heel, and then right heel. Scooping your arms. Heel goes out. When you've got it down, you can go a little faster. That's always the rule of thumb. If you've got the move down, you can move a little faster, especially if you're looking to get more cardio out of this. Think about reaching for the ground. And if you can't quite reach for the ground, that's okay. You're still scooping. A lot of this is going to test your flexibility, which could make you sore the next day or two. So just go to your limit. About 15 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Let's take it all out. All right. On your mat, we're going to do a little bit of balancing. Left leg stays on the ground, right leg out to the side. Find the balance. Keep your core tight. That'll help with your balance. If you need your toe on the ground, that's okay too. The higher you lift it, the harder it's going to be. You're just going to pulse. Try to stay standing vertical. It's going to be easier to lean over to the side, but try to stand straight up. And remember the modifier. Keep your toe on the ground. You can lift it as you feel comfortable. Or you can keep it high. If you're really flexible, if you're really strong, you can lift it high. Challenge your balance. It's okay to be a little wobbly. Now hold it out there. Stop the pulsing. Now your heel's going to come in and out. So you're just bending the leg and straightening. Bending and straightening. You're still balancing on that bottom leg. Keep going. Everything is timed, so I'm timing you for everything. Hopefully I'm being shown as the speaker, the main screen. Okay, good job. Four, three, two, and shake it out. We got the other side. Now you're balancing on your right leg. Left leg out to the side. Remember, toe can be on the, down, on the ground if it needs to. Pause. Try to stay standing. Your torso is vertical. It's really easy to want to lean to that side. Try to stay up. You got it. Keep going. Think about that core. Whew. And make sure you're breathing deep breaths. That's going to help. Four. Three, two, hold that leg up, heel comes in and out. You're just bending the leg and straightening. If your toe's on the ground, you're just tapping the ground, heel comes up. Four, 
It's okay to lose your balance. You'll see me losing my balance, and I've been teaching this class for years. Four, three, two, and one. Take it out. All right, let's grab some water, a little water break here. I'll give you breaks throughout, but feel free the need to get water whenever you need to. And next, we're going to make our way down onto the mat. So, bottom of the mat, and with me, you can stand your arms up, fold forward, reach for your toes, walk out in the plank. This is a plank, your body straight as a board. Start pedaling your knees down. I'll show you the modifier is on your knees, and you're pushing back one heel at a time. So this is the modifier. Hands are right under your shoulders. If you're in that plank, make sure your hips are low, core is tucked under. Planks are hard. So even if you're just holding a plank for a few seconds, and if you gotta go to your knees, that's fine. Four, three, two. Now you're going to lift your hips up. Downward facing dog. Heels are pressing to the ground. Strong arms. Your chest is pushing towards the top of your legs. This is down dog. We're going to come here often. So let's stay here for a little bit. You can rock the heels down. If down dog is too much for you, you can go into child's pose and then on your knees, sitting back in your heels. Just get a little comfortable here. All right, now we're going to take your right foot. You're going to bring it up. The goal is to get it between your hands. You might need to stand up to get it there. One hand on each side of the foot, and you're gonna bend and straighten your right leg, the one in front. And you might not be able to straighten it all the way. Just move that leg. Your back leg stays straight, you're balancing on that back toe. And if you can't get your foot in between your hands, there's nothing wrong with having it back here. This can also look like this. The main key here is just to bending and straighten that right leg, the one that moves forward. Go here for a little bit. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. Four, three, two. Now let's turn that back foot, your left foot, so you have a little bit of balance, and you're going to come into standing. So your front right leg is bent, your back leg is straight, arms are going to come up into a T. Pulse into that right leg. Try to keep those arms shoulder height. The back leg is still straight. This front leg is doing a lot of work.
Keeping those arms out, we're gonna tone those arms too. Four, three, two, one. Your right arm's gonna come on top of your right knee. Left arm straight up. Just hold in here. Your left arm straight to the ceiling. Right elbow's resting on your right knee or your thigh. And just hold it here. Catch your breath if you lost it. Wipe the sweat if you're sweating. Or just focus. That top arm is going to do a big arm circle coming by your ear. All the way down, reach to the ground. All the way back around. It's slow like that. Do two of them and then you're going to go the opposite direction. So then you're going to go down by your leg. Down and up by your ear. As big as you can get that circle. Switch directions. This is so good for your shoulder mobility. And of course, total body, because you're holding this pose while you're doing it. You can also come up on your, if it's too much to be down on your elbow, you can be up like this. There's a lot of modifiers for all of the moves, so I will try to cover them all. And one more. Come back up. Pulse into the front leg again. We're still on the same side. Maybe your arms are starting to feel heavy. That's okay. You need to shake them out quick. Come back when you're ready. And you're going to turn over that front right leg. One hand on each side of the foot. Bend and straighten again. Last 30 seconds here, then we're going to switch sides. So bending and straightening that front right leg. Remember, if you're back here, that's okay. Just do what you can. Three, and two, and let's push back into down dog. Gently set your knees down. We're going to go into child's pose. Before we do the other side, we're going to rest. Sink back into your heels. Stretch those arms out nice and long. This is called child's pose. You also have time to grab water right now, if you want to grab some. And if you're ready, we're going to go to the other side. So we have to do that whole thing on the other side. From the toes under, medium downward facing dog. Now your left leg is going to come up. If you're with me, you're doing your left now. But just make sure it's the opposite of the one you just did. Bend and straighten your left leg, your front leg. Keep that back leg straight. I'm just going to switch directions. Good. Remember, you might not get your legs straightened all the way. Just, if that's the case, you're just doing little pulses. Good. 
We got the same amount of time on each side. Fifteen seconds. Strong, straight arms. And this back leg is straight. Front leg is bending. Three up four. Three. Two. And one, you're going to set that left hand on top of that thigh, right arm up to the ceiling. Just hold it here. Hold this pose. Remember, you can be here. If it's too much to be down this low, you can be up like this. We're going to do big arm circles with that arm all the way around. Do two of them, and then you can switch and go the other direction. This is slow and controlled, as big of an arm circle as you could possibly get. Couple more, each direction. And come on up, arms up. Bend and straighten the front leg again. Woo. Feel the burn in those arms, shake it out if you need to. I keep them shoulder height. Three, two. You're going to turn over the front foot, one hand on each side. Bend and straighten again. Last little bend and straighten. These are some good songs. Hope you guys can hear the music. It's one of my favorite playlists. And every class you take with me, it's going to be different. It's going to be different music, different moves, a lot of variety. Four, three, two, hands down, push 
cracking it down, dog. Knees down. Let's go into that child's pose. Gently set your knees down. Sit back into your heels. Stretch those arms out nice and long. Stay there. Let's see if there's questions I can address. Okay. Got water. You have another little water break. Hope you guys are feeling good.
Let's do what you can.
four, three, two, and hands behind your head. Keep that right leg up. Now you're going to crunch, lift, and down. Elbows are out to the side, just supporting the head. Don't pull on the neck.
Give me 15 seconds. Try to hold those arms up. Change the music. Start pulsing up. 
Remember the modifier. You can just pulse the arm or you can just pulse the leg. If you're doing the leg, that's going to work your back, your leg, your butt a little bit more. Obviously your arm, your shoulder. Try to do them both. We are making our way to the cool down. All right, so we have our cool down routine. Hands and knees. Step back into plank. And if you need to do a knee plank, that's okay. But we're just going to hold plank just for a few more seconds. Plank because your hips are low, core is tucked under. Don't sink down like this and try not to be up like this. We're going to take your right knee, bring it all the way up, set your right knee between your hands or as far up as you can, and you're going to relax the back leg. Sink down. This is called pigeon stretch. We're going to be here for a little bit, so if you need to move around in it, you can be back here. However far up you can get that right knee. And you want to be sitting right on top of those hips. And if you're feeling, you can lean forward too. Give those arms a rest. Pigeon stretch is so important. In pile, we do lots of hip flexor work, hamstring work, and the your hips and all that stuff is so important in everyday life. So we do lots of stretching. If you're leaning forward, try to come up a little bit. Throw that back toe under. So your left toe, straighten out that back leg if you can. Pushing this heel back, keeping this leg off the ground, you're going to feel an even deeper stretch in your hip flexor, groin area. 
Just do what you can. I want you to feel this. Everyone's tight in kind of a different area. So if you need to roll your hips to the side, if you need to pulse into it, you can. And let's push back into the downward facing dog. So bring that right leg back. Pedal the heels down and down dog. Come back down into plank. Holding plank strong. Plank, you're straight like a board. Remember, knee plank is just the same. And left knee is going to come up between your hands. Just like you did on the other side. Relax your back leg down. We're on pigeon on the other side now. Taking some deep breaths. It's really important to get oxygen to all those muscles. Let's curl the back right toe under, straightening out that leg. You might need to adjust your front leg a little bit. Just push that heel back. Try to keep your right leg straight. Try to get it off the ground. We're going to push back, give me one more down dog. Downward facing dog, both heels pressing down. Bring your feet about as wide as the mat, maybe shoulder width apart. And you're going to slowly walk your hands back to your feet, keeping your legs as straight as you can. Here in a forward fold, reaching for the ground. Remember, you can be up here. But hopefully you're feeling a little more limber, a little more flexible than you were at the beginning. You can just let that upper body hang there. You can roll side to side. And round your back, chin your chest. We're going to roll all the way up into standing. One more little arm stretch. Right arm across your body. Pull your left arm underneath. And just stretch it out. Let's do a little wrist circle. We did lots of on our wrist. That's another thing. If you've never done Pio, your wrist might be sore. But Pio strengthens the wrist. So if you keep coming, if you want to come to more classes, we'll share my schedule with you. But everything gets stronger. It's pretty amazing. Switch sides. There's people who have came, they got knee surgery, and they were able to do my class modified, and they strengthen their knee. Wrists are a big thing, people with weak wrists. Big arms out, give yourself a big hug, and then arms out, and then hug with the other arm on top. This is it, this is our gratitude hug. You did it, 
Be proud of yourself. Even if you just tried a few minutes, you did it. You moved today. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Cassie. Um, Mackenzie and I enjoyed. Uh, we're good and wore out, um, but we're ready for a good lunch. Uh, yeah. And then we'll be happy to see everybody back at opening session soon.